Folks in position, please. And face to face. Paweł Gorzewski, Roy Jones Jr., 30 czerwca, Anna Sarena Łódź, starcie Tytanu. We are talking with great Roy Jones Jr. A few hours after you arrived in Warsaw, first of all, how do you feel? I, in Warsaw, I hear you little uh, some problems with your nose. Well, I always have a little sinus issues, but I'm good. So my sinuses are always bad. That's no problem. Uh, I feel really good. Mm -hmm. mm. There is uh, something to do with the jet lag or not? No jet lag. Just sometimes the flying period makes my allergies act up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how is your weight right now? I. So you on an HBO broadcast from El Paso, you looked very slim on TV. <laughs> yeah, I'm slimming down a little bit, feel pretty good. Uh, I'm close to there, not all the way, but I'm close. Mm -hmm. Do you have any difficulties with 185? No, no difficulties, it's just what I do. You know, it's no different than any other time. You know, I usually step out three or four pounds over until the day of the fight. The way to weigh in, then I go ahead and get it down. Uh, the day of the weigh in, and I make it, and I'm good. Mm -hmm. You said four or five weeks ago that you've been preparing new tricks for David Kostetsky. What kind of tricks Polish crowd can expect from you? Just expect some of the old Roy Jones, you know, the old Roy Jones. A little bit modified, slow the legs down a little bit, but wow, it's been amazing in training. I really amaze myself sometimes, so just be on the lookout. You definitely want to see this. Mm -hmm. Who would be a tougher opponent, Gwazewski or Kostecki? Both opponents would be very tough. Um, uh, Gwazewski may be even tougher because of uh, you know, his ability to He's already been champion, you know, and it's hard to take the belt from a champion. So uh, when a guy really haven't technically lost or he's champion, it's very difficult to deal with him. Uh, however, though, uh, Kostecki was a pretty good guy, too, who's a, who's a very different type of fighter. You know, he, he, he comes with some of my stuff, so it's been very difficult to deal with him as well. So I don't know who would be the most different, but difficult, I mean, but both of them have to be dealt with. But don't you think that Gwazewski could be tougher because he got really nothing to lose? Oh yeah, oh most of oh, the this guy, because this, yeah, because not only that, he has nothing to lose that he's never lost before. So for him, he's like, I got everything to gain, nothing to lose. So yeah, of course he's going to be a tougher guy to, to fight. I thought you were talking about, the, I, I heard it wrong, my bad. Yeah, this guy will definitely be tougher because he don't have nothing to lose. He's just all, all, all for pro, go for going for pro because um, he wasn't supposed to be here. So now since he's here, he's like, well, I'm the only person that could make something strange happen. You know what I'm saying? So he got nothing to lose, everything to gain. Mm -hmm. And last question. Uh, in the past, you didn't want to travel to Germany. Now you've been in Australia, you've been in Russia, now you're in Poland. Why decided to travel uh, in your late career? Well, I realized that that was the love for me outside of the United States of America. And as long as I could be treated fair, and w w when people love you, like, they, like the Polish people even love me here. And when people love you, then they have no reason to cheat you, you don't think. Um, in Australia, it wasn't quite the case. The hand wrap was kind of bad. But in Moscow, they treated me good. So I said, you know what, because they treated me that good in Moscow, it made me learn to appreciate how well they treated me. Now it made me want to go home and prepare even better to come back to Poland to, because they appreciate me. And in Poland, they appreciate me. So now I go home and prepare with a different attitude. You know, it's like, okay, if they appreciate me, then I can go get what they want. You know, so before, I didn't know that you know, the fan support was even there. And when I was on top, I had no reason to go there. Mm -hmm. Now, you have the WBC Cruiserweight Champion here, which is what I want. So I got to come deal on his terms, in a sense, where I may have to come to him to get it. Mm -hmm. That's how I am.